Okay, this lesson is all about slope, and hopefully you remember a little bit of learning about slope from either your grade 9 math class or even your grade 9 science class um, talked about slope. So just a couple of reminders here. Um, first thing is that when we're looking at a linear relation, when we're looking at a line, a perfect line, we, when we talk about slope, we are referring to the steepness of a line, okay? Couple other words for um, slope that you might have heard. One of them is rate of change. And the other one is what's called the constant of variation. Okay, C-O-V for short or ROC for rate of change. Constant of variation isn't one that I would typically use, so you won't hear me refer to it as a constant. That's a V variation, a variation. but rate of changes is definitely um, one that you will hear many times, okay? Now, the letter that we use for M, for slope, is M, okay? And hopefully you remember these formulas. You know that slope equals rise over run, Okay, rise, of course, being the vertical distance between two points and run being the horizontal distance between two points. And if you were in grade nine academic math or in science, um, you definitely also saw this slope formula, we like to call it, um, y2 minus y1, right, which is the rise over x2 minus x1, which is the run. So in general, there are four types of slopes. And so this first one um, is an example when we, th we always go left to right. This line is rising to the right. This is a positive slope. Okay, again, thinking left to right. This next one is a negative slope. Okay, if you can just look, it goes down to the right. Okay, always thinking left to right, so it goes down to the right. And then we have these two special ones. We have our vertical lines. Okay, these had special slopes that were what we called undefined. Okay, and then the next one was our horizontal lines. These ones had special slopes. Hopefully it makes sense to you. These have a slope of zero, right? They have zero rise. They're just running forever. And zero over any number is zero, okay? So those are the four different types of slopes we look at. Now we're going to look at how to calculate slope, okay? So we're going to start with how to calculate slope from a graph, okay? Okay. All right, so I want you to remember these steps. We could write them down, but instead I just want you to listen to the video, and you can always do this a couple times. Step number one is going to be to find two nice points. What do I mean by nice points? I mean points that are exact, that you could give me the coordinates for those points. You could easily label them on the graph, okay? So if I take a look at this um, graph that I have here, for instance, that would be a nice point. Practice writing the coordinates of these if that's something that you're unfamiliar with. This is negative 2, comma 3, right? We do our x's first. So this is 2, 4, 6. This is negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. Let's do the y-axis as well while we're at it. It's 2, 4, 6. I only do every other one just so that it's a little less crowded and it doesn't get confusing in there, okay? So that's a nice point right here, that red dot at negative 2, 3. Um, this right here is another nice point. That's 0, negative 1. Uh, this right here, 2, negative 6 is another nice point. So anywhere that you see them, identify two nice points points, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our slope triangle between any of those two nice points that you found, okay? So let's say I choose this one and this one. This would be my slope triangle. Oops, sorry. This would be my slope triangle right in here, this triangle right there, 
Okay. And it doesn't, it shouldn't matter which points you find. You should be able to get the same answer if you choose a different two points than, let's say, your neighbor. So it really doesn't matter. Choose any two points. Okay. And so then from the graph, we're going to look at, okay, what's the rise? How many squares is that? And how many squares is the run right there? So let's go ahead and count the rise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like our rise is eight, and our run is one, two, three, four. Okay, so our slope equals our rise over our run. In this case, we have an eight for the rise. We have a four for the run. And the other thing that we need to notice right off the bat here is that this line goes down to the right. So that means that it has a negative slope. So we just stick a negative right in front there, okay? Don't let that impact your numbers in any way. Find your rise, find your run, and then decide is the line positive or is the line negative. Now this one does simplify. Four goes into eight nice and evenly. Um, so eight divided by four gives you negative two, okay? So the slope of this line is negative two. Okay, could also be written as 2 over 1. Important to note for later on when we go the other way and we take the slope and we actually graph the lines. Let's try another one. Okay, so if you can, pause the video right now, uh, especially if you've been able to print this lesson and see if you can find two nice points. I'll identify a bunch of nice points for you. Okay, so check it out. Number one, I've labeled the graph and I've identified the nice points that I see. Again, the ones that you can label without putting any decimals on your page or guessing in any way, okay? So now we're gonna make our slope triangle. This time, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Again, doesn't matter which two points you choose. I'm gonna choose that one and that one. And I'm gonna make a slope triangle right there. And then from that, I'm gonna read my rise. This is my rise, which is just two squares. And then my run, one, two, three, four, five. So my run here is five. So my slope, which is rise over run, is two over five. And then I'm gonna take a double look and I'm gonna see, okay, this line is going up and to the right. So it is positive. You can write a positive there, but you don't really need it um, when it is positive. And then I'm going to check my calculator. Does that reduce in any way? Are both of those numbers divisible by anything? And that one doesn't reduce, so you're just going to leave it like that. Remember, we always want slope as fractions, and, in, and particularly even improper fractions. So that's it. The slope equals 2 over 5. Okay, And you're going to practice reading a bunch of those slopes from graphs in your practice work. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to recap finding the slope between two points um, by using the slope formula, okay? So hopefully you remember this. If you were in applied math, you only probably saw this in science. You didn't actually see it in math, but it's going to be really, really helpful for you in grade 10. Often students like it better, um, so try, try and use it anyway. Okay, so slope formula, slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Yes, you need to remember that, but also just remember this is the same. Like we rise on the y-axis and we run horizontally. So that will help you remember which one goes where. The other thing that I always like to do is I always like to label my points. So let's say this is point one. Let's say this is point two. It doesn't matter which one you choose. This would be x1 comma y1. This would be x2 comma y2. Okay, so next step, we're just going to take those numbers and we're going to substitute them into the formula. So y2 is 0. We're going to subtract y1 is 3. On the bottom, x2 is negative 8. We're going to subtract x1 is negative 3. Okay, so that's just subbing the numbers into the formula. And now we're going to do a little bit of simplifying. 0 minus 3 on the top is negative 3. And then just watch out here on the bottom. This one's a little tricky. Negative 8, it becomes plus 3, right? This becomes negative 8 plus 3. So negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Okay, look to do a little bit of simplifying. 3 over 5 doesn't simplify, but I do have two negatives, 
which I know means that the actually, actual slope is a positive 3 over 5. Okay, so the slope is 3 over 5. Okay, pause the video, try B all on your own, and then play the video to see how you did. Okay, check out where I am so far. Hopefully that makes sense. We've got our formula. Okay, we've plugged in our values. I've labeled my points. Now yours could look different here if you did your points the opposite, but either way, you should work out to something that looks like this. Now four over eight does simplify, so we have a negative slope here. It doesn't matter whether the negative is with the eight or with the four or out in front. The line is negative, is what we mean here. And four over eight actually reduces to one over two, right? Both are divisible by four. So our final answer for our slope is negative one half, okay? And again, you're gonna do some practice with this, so good luck with that.